Chat, we're back at it. Round three of character reveals. Not as many this time uh, around as uh, as before, but on my uh, my YouTube frogs, they go one character at a time. So nothing's really changed for you. I want to get started. I want to get rocking today. Nice and easy. We've got Kuro Momotaro. Uh, it has six hand size, 27 health. You can see right here on the side over here. Um, at the air chaos and earth symbols, he says, as a static before the game begins, search your deck for a card with the word armor in its name and add it to your momentum face up. Enhance once per turn. If your rival has played two or more copies of this attack this turn, it gets minus five damage. So if they, if they, play, if they play a move and they play a move with the same name, Gets minus five damage. Pretty good. Pretty good uh, defensive way. And then uh, enhance. If you have a face-up copy of this attack in your momentum, this attack gets one speed and two damage. You can take in and, you know, you want to kind of collect collect one of every option of attack that you have in your, uh, in your deck. You want to put it into your momentum face-up. Uh, very cool. Very, very neat. Very, very neat. Oh, I should put up a poll. Hold up. Pause, champ. Putting up a poll. Does it remember? Do you like this card? Yes. No. Meh. Uh, do you like this card? Um, I love the fact that we have another Air Chaos character that cares about face-up momentum. I think this guy's neat. I think the once per turn enhance is not going to be very relevant most of the time. But Chad has brought up a great point. This guy's very good at fighting Echo, which is all over the place in these kits. Um, like every every uh, every ultra rare has the word Echo. Um, uh, they are they are really digging deep into the idea of one attack is two attacks for the cost of that momentum. It's very cool. It's very cool. I, 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 I dig it. I like it a lot. Um, but I'm excited to see what his kit looks like. So we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into it. We have Armor of the Ape. It's a 5-3-2 mid block, 4 mid for 5. When this card's added, your momentum at a face up. Pretty good. Has the slam keyword to enhance from your momentum. So if it's face up in your momentum, your rival's attack gets minus one damage. It's play, uh, playable a number of times a, a turn. You can just like you press the button. Every attack they do is minus one damage. And then enhance this deck gets one speed and one damage for each of your momentum. So a big, huge scaling card for if you've built up a ton of momentum, you slam down uh, a massive move. I think this card's great. I think this card's super, super cool. Um, I'm not. This card's just gonna feel good to put in later. I'm not positive this is the one that you want to snag as your first one, but it is good. It is a good move. Um, uh, it has decent enough stats. If you already have an armor of the ape, it's a it's a um, uh, uh, six mid for eight, right? Six mid for eight. Uh, five diff on turn two connects. It just does. Um, yeah, this card, this card feels great. This card feels super, super good. I like this card a lot. I'm a fan of this one. I'm a fan of this one. We'll move on. Uh, two, Armor of the Phoenix. Uh, four, three, two, low block, four, high for four. Again, has the slam keyword. When this card is added to your momentum, add it face up. Enhance momentum. This attack gets plus one speed, period. Enhance if this attack, uh, this attack gets two speed. Only playable if you have at least one momentum. This card's incredible. This card's so, so good. Uh, everybody everybody in chat is saying Amajiki, Amajiki, Amajiki. I am excited for Amajiki for this. The real thing that I'm excited for for this guy's kit, truthfully, I'm excited for Mirio. Air or Chaos Mirio just got a ton of cards that are slams, so we can change the zone of them, and they do a thing while in, while in momentum in a character that wants to have momentum. This makes sense to me. This makes total sense to me. Um... I think Armor of, the, Armor, of the, Armor of the Phoenix, Armor of the Ape are going to go gonna go nuts on that character, right? Um, uh, Gentle uh, will play these uh, as well with his 2-diff foundation. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's some really, really cool ideas of, of like, the slam keyword coming into its own. Um, this, I'm very, very excited. I mean, again, it's a, it's a rare. I, I, think, I think owning four of this card is going to truly pay off. Uh, and then up next, we have Armor of the Wolf. Oh! Uh, the Ultra Rare. It's a 5-3 with a 2 high block. 5 mid for 5. That's really good. EX3. Powerful 3. Great use for that momentum they're gathering. And also Slam. When this card's added to your momentum, add a face up. Enhance momentum. This attack gets a plus 1 damage. Response. After rival passes on an enhance, this attack gets plus 1 damage. 
um, huge, massive scaling ability and has the ability and has the ability to um, uh, spend that momentum and get a ton of speed, a ton of damage. I think this is this is one of, if not uh, in contention for like one of the best momentum outs in the game as a whole in in every set and every i think having ex3 and powerful three is incredible on your five diff five mid for five that like like can can press the buttons over and over and over and over and over again it's this card's very very good and it is one of the carrot cards it's it's reverse chicken kick yeah that's what I'm, yeah 100 percent um it gets a bunch of damage and the, the ex3 on it's just like so potent it's so good um yeah, you could on turn two, right? If you just start with Armor of the Wolf in your momentum, you play Armor of the Wolf on your turn two, you enhance from Armor of the Wolf in your momentum for plus one damage, they pass, you give it a damage, you give it one two because Wolf's in there, they pass, you give it a damage, you EX three it, and so it was uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine mid for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wowzers. This is like an 11 damage move on turn two. Just like, boop. Just like, just because just cause we played the game. Um, feels very, very strong. Feels very, very strong. Uh, and then his last uh, uh, common, last attack. Uh, it's a 4-3, four, 4 high for 3, 1 mid block punch slam. Again, more punches, more slams for like Mirio. Um, if this attack deals damage, add an attack from discard pile to your momentum face up. So you get to pick any of these cool cards and just put them in your momentum. Um, I, I think this card is incredible. I have a question. I haven't seen the show. Did he hit with this move? Or is he just... Did he miss and he punched the ground? Because if he missed and he punched the ground, it's very funny. If he missed, it's very funny that this has a if this deals damage clause. Because he missed. Does that mean in the picture he's not actually getting to use this ability? This is like this is this is the designers being like, well, this is what would have happened if it did work. <laughs> this is what would have happened if it did work. That's, this is a very funny, very funny image to me. <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, next we have his uncommon two four four mid block, pretty rough. Pretty rough. Enhance, remove colon. If two or more copies of this attack have been played this turn, reduces attack's damage to zero. Uh, this, everybody's going to say, uh, two, 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 two. This card sucks. This card's not good. It's bad. Blah, 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 blah. I, I like this card because it is it lets everybody be this guy. Right? It says that anybody who plays an echo move gets to now put its damage to zero. Which is just like a good a good thing to do, right? Enhance, remove. If they played two of them, get rid of it. It counters the second twisting. Uh, yeah, I mean that's true. Uh, that's true. I think this card. I think this card is fine. I think this card is going to see uh, a cyborg play, like Happy Feet said. I think it could also see play, um, not in this set, but sets later on down the road as more cards rotate out. We get more cards in. I think this is a this is a fine enough ability that that it will it will grow into its place in the meta. So for now, it's probably a two, probably a three, um, unless the echo keyword is just snapped in half this next set, um, which every ultra has has the echo keyword. Um, but yeah, uh, but move on. Cruel intent. One five three low block enhance flip your slam attack gets plus two speed if it deals damage your rival flips one foundation. This is such an insane rate for uh uh the one five three low block. Um, uh, do you guys remember when we, when we had note taking and let's fight bad guys for as a one five flip this keyword gets two speed. Now it's a one five this flip this keyword gets two speed, and if it deals damage my rival flips the foundation. It's very, very good. Mirio is gonna eat this card up. Mirio is gonna, gonna, gonna absolutely slam this card and four of his. This move gets a speed change its zone card. Um, this card's very good. Selkie loving this card. Yeah, Luffy. The Selkie likes this card too. Um, yeah, this card is neat. It, one of the best. There's been plenty of the commons inside of, um, inside of the, um, 
uh, inside of this kit, inside of the set, that I've been like, ah, it's fine. It's not that great. It's whatever. I think Cruel Intent is good as long as you can find the slams for it to work on. Up next, we <laughs> have Fearsome Transformation. It's a 1-5 with a 3 high block. Enhance, flip, draw a card. If you have no momentum, discard a card. So, this card is, if I have momentum, I just get to raw draw a card. If I don't have momentum, it's just calling for backup, right? Uh, the man's standing like a Danganronpa character. Um, this might be the best common in the set. Like, like just hands down, just simply power level. This is, most of the time, flip draw a card. Just flip draw a card. Um very good <laughs> very very potent ability uh yeah it, it this this is um this is just one of the good ones um simple elegant makes sense makes sense and then his last card i believe let me just double check yep last card is steaming spheres power it's a two five two mid block it's the rare of the foundations Enhance, destroy, colon, add a slam attack from your discard pile to your momentum. So instead of being forced to hit with our Diving Phoenix Crush, we just get to go slam any of these into our momentum. Very potent ability. Um, and then response flip after rival plays an ability that discards one or more momentum, it cancels its effects. Um, this card is, the, is a two and one. It snaps you the momentum that you want, and it also protects your momentum. This is a four of guaranteed in any character that wants to utilize momentum. Imagine, imagine Mario getting to have this card. Destroy to just zero. Uh, this says this says destroy zero out and attack in Mario. Mario stocks way way up this set. Um, probably the probably the uh, the set five character that I'm most excited about exploring with with all of this stuff. It's very very good. Amajiki loves this. Yeah, Amajiki Mario. The funny thing is, fellas. They both have chaos and, and air. If you're gonna be playing this cool moment face up momentum thing, you can sideboard them. They're teammates. They hang out. They're good. They're good to, to talk and chit chat. Um, I wonder what other uh slams. Hold on. Air, chaos, earth, slam. I just want to see what cool ideas can be grabbed here, right? Uh, I will. I will end the poll, and then we can look at it, right? Just like all of these ideas are are available to just be sl snapped to your momentum, right? Under all under, I just picked all three of their symbols. This is a lot of choices, guys. Oh, you get to just slam a momentum for her clash. That's so cool. Yeah, it's how it's your impact cyclone. I'll destroy a foundation for another draw. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But the real question that I have, you guys, is do you like the kit? Do you like the set of cards together? Whether it's um playing as Kuro or taking his pieces and putting them other places. Uh, I, I myself, I'm not necessarily excited for Kuro. I think Kuro's cards, his all of his cards, very interesting, very neat to put into uh, other people's ideas. Um, but maybe you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with Kuro and and see. Uh, maybe I like his playstyle, right? If I uh, ac uh, accumulating this mass, this dragon's horde of of um uh, uniquely named. Uh, attacks so that every move that I play gets plus one plus two not bad stats for free not to mention all the face-up stuff that we get to do in the first place uh, but let me know what you guys think uh, down in the uh, comments down below would love to know your guys' uh, thoughts and opinion yeah I mean you love uh, love Amajiki he's safe for Amajiki I think he's Amajiki that doesn't kill as much and this once per turn ability is probably once per game I think it's very tough to get off but anyhow, 